Hello once again and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I just want to share with you the techniques on how to salvage any parts of an electronic um, circuit. I have here a GPX model is S3535. This is a um, mini component and the top of the mini component it has a turntable and it uses a ceramic cartridge. Now I already broke it apart and I get the main circuit board this one what I'm gonna try to do is to salvage the um, ceramic preamp circuit and I've just um, get where is the part here where is the preamp and the first tip is make sure um, you know where the wires are going connected in some point so I have here this wire this is connected in a turntable on the top of this mini component and to figure this out where is the supply or where is the um, signal came and signal out and the main thing is you know where the supply of this circuit so this is the wire um, the first tip that I'm gonna tell you is if you want or if you want to find the input of the preamp so I will just share to you the preamp circuit this is the preamp circuit because this wire goes to the turntable so as I assess this one at the back there there's some point came from these wires goes to this circuit here so now it is very easy to find where is the input came from the uh, turntable the tips here first tip you must find the shielded wire so to find the shielded wire it look like this this is a shielded wire you know how to determine a shielded wire shielded wire if you cut this off there is a strand of wire without insulator just like a if this is the strand of wires this red and white is covered with that stranded wires so that is shielded wire it shield it has a shield it shield the red and white so that there will be no um, what do you call this interference of a radio or some electronic products will get into the wire that interference will cause humming that's why they use a shielded wire so if you can uh, pinpoint where the shielded wire is it then that is the um, input and now my next step is to find the output so to find the output because you have your input here you can see this um, capacitors 
there are some point that because of this one is a stereo this red is right and the white is for the left there's some point that there is a uh, if there is one here there is another part on the side so that is the left and right channels so as I assess this one I found out that this is the output came from the preamp so as we flip this these are the um, this is the first capacitor the very blue one the second capacitor is this one here um, I will try to get some stick to point it out I have here my pointing tool so this is the capacitor and the other capacitor so this is the left and right left and right channel this is the output input output and now the final part is to find where is the B plus so as I assess this all you can see that there is a just like a puzzle one transistor one transistor there's a um, 100 ohms resistor there's also a 100 ohms resistor another there is here a what value is this orange orange red so orange orange red is a 3.3 key or 3300 ohms so this is 3.3 key orange orange red so it has a partner there this 3.3 key it has a partner also and so on until the last it has a partner so I would say that is not the B plus but as you can see here it has only one resistor with no partner no partner at all in this circuit here so I would say that this one is a B plus so as I flip this over this is the B plus here I think this is 9 to 12 volts positive 9 to 12 volts from the positive side here the B plus uh, will pass to that resistor then goes through here and from here it will now distribute the voltages from this part here the right or left channel and also at this side here and that's all how to um, salvage any parts of an electronic that is being junk so now I'm gonna try to cut it off and make it a clear circuit board and this is now the part that I will cut there from here so that I can get all the parts inside this line because this is the preamp circuit for the ceramic cartridge
so this is now the part that I cut this is the preamp circuit so what I'm gonna try to do now is to first um, rewire and about this one here this is only a D plus supply for the turntable so I will try to remove this part here the only thing that will stay to this wire here is this shielded wire so this is now what it looks like so this is now my output input output and now I'll try to resolder first the circuits to have a new solder to avoid cold solder that's the purpose of this one cold solder means a loss contact for short and avoid not to short circuit your parts now this is the part and I'm now gonna make a jumper to this ground here so we cut some wires I will use black for this So here it is, then red one, I will also use this wire for the B plus and the ground again. So let's try solder first the B plus wire. I'm using here a red wire so this is the resistor and the color is brown black red and for short that is one key the value is one key ohms so this is for the B plus and for the ground still the same I will use the ground here or this one here still this is a ground So here it is. Okay, and the last part is I will make a wire again or attach a wire for the output 
the two here is the output so I will use the orange and yellow so I have a different color for each channel so I can use yellow for the right or vice versa I can use yellow for left or left for the orange depends on your code of your wiring so I will try to put this one and put some lead in it before soldering this is the proper way of soldering a wire to a circuit so again check first so we can have a better circuit without any mistakes so I will try to solder here or this part maybe it's good here to have a near to the ground to avoid sometimes the humming but still the same if I use the yellow and put it here and the last one there so this is now my preamp and I will not say that this is a ground I will just say this is a common these two is a pair and also at this side here is a pair so on with the ground here still this one the same this is called the common ground and now we will try to test this one first I will uh, put this one in a power supply and the side here I will put this one to the uh, small powered speakers and I just connected all the wires except for this one this is from the another channel sad to say I'm just using here only one speaker so I will try this in my next uh, step about these toppings here so I will try to share to you the connections this one here is for the B plus and it will go to this wire until in my adapter I set it to 12 volts and this one is for the supply of my power speaker and the output here of my preamp let's try first the yellow and I put it here this is a input that will go to my powered speaker at the back there you can see the wire and this one is the common ground or the B minus this is the B plus and the block is the B minus so I'm just using here the same wire the shielded wire and now let's try to tap here where is that yellow connection is so it's not here it's not humming the center wire is the ground so that is it will not hum because this is a common ground so how about the red there you can hear so this is the yellow is the right side there so I will tap the orange so just tap the orange here as you can see I will put again the yellow here to avoid short circuit in my uh, circuit board so automatically the orange is the white there you can hear it 
then the red again so there's no humming in the red there so you can hear there's no sound but here the white there so it's already functioning and lastly I will try to put it in a enclosure box so I can use this one final part of this project and I just mounted it in my enclosure box and this enclosure box also a salvage enclosure box from a RF modulator and I paint it black so it has a nice touch so as we take a look inside this is now my circuit as you can see here my cutting there and this is the input part here it has a shielded wire this one here is for the ground and the output left and the right channel so I'm using here a single diode this is a half wave rectifier supply rectified supply in a half wave and this one here the supply is 750 milliamps you can use at a minimum at a 500 milliamps you can put it in this kind of circuit because preamp only needs a little um, milliamps so at the front part this is what it looks like it has a switch and a power indicator um, the circle here means zero or off position number one is for the on this is like a binary number so this is um, on there and this is off so at the back part this is what it looks like there output this one here is for the goes to the powered speaker or an amplifier ground and the input and the cover we have here also the cover just put it like that then that is all and by the way I will also try to test it here if it is really working I will try to turn this on there it's already on and as I touch the um, input side here this one this is the left channel there and this one here is the right channel there. left right I'm using here the two speaker now so I can test it properly left right so this is now the final part of this video and the RCA here part here is connected to the powered speaker to and this one here goes through the turntable there. so I will try to play first the turntable So that's all guys, hope you subscribe to my channel, stay updated always for more and more videos to come, and as always, thanks for watching.